the crime scene tape at Ray and Carpenter Streets is long gone, but the question of why lingers. Manchester police are trying to come up with an answer. Chief Willard says if this shooting is random, that would make it an exceedingly rare crime. It is a shocking crime. A woman gunned down on her regular walk in a quiet Queen City neighborhood. Police are still searching for the suspect who shot and killed 62 year old Denise Robert. At this point, we're not entirely certain it is random, right? So that's the difficulty moving forward. Um, if it is random, it's, it's alarming. Witnesses told detectives they saw a dark colored pickup truck quickly leaving the area. The driver described as a white man in his 20s or 30s with short, cropped hair. The, the neighborhood is uh, extremely helpful. We just want more. If anybody has video along that path that, that, was, that was driven, Ray Street, Carpenter Street, um, Union Street, and then even areas of Webster Street. Investigators released a timeline of Denise Roberts' final hours. She left the Executive Health and Sports Center on Highlander Way near the airport around 6 p.m. From there, she ran some errands, reaching the checkout counter at the vitamin shop on South Willow Street at approximately 6.08 p.m. An hour later, at 7.07 p.m., she checked out at the Walmart on Keller Street, where a security camera recorded her at the store entrance. At 8.21 p.m., she made purchases at the Hannaford on John Devine Drive. After that, she drove to the Brookside Congregational Church in Manchester's North End, where she parked her car near the corner of Elm and Clark Street. From there, she began her walk, a part of her normal routine. At approximately 9 p.m., police say neighbors heard something resembling the pop of fireworks. Then came a 911 call reporting a person down in the road. If anybody saw her at any of those locations, they saw her walking in the neighborhood from the Brookside Church to where she was murdered at Ray and Carpenter Streets to please come forward. Denise Robert was a three decade employee at the New Hampshire Union Leader newspaper. Online, co workers described her as an incredibly kind and dedicated person. Reporting live in Manchester, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.